Hi guys, welcome to another video. Uh, this is Ayana here. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're joining us or me back again in this channel, welcome back. Uh, let's just get on to the video. Let's go. So today's video is everything you need to know about Project Rescue, which is book four to my um, Project Romance series. Uh, yeah, so it's all exciting. I'm trying to crack through all of these so you know everything about it before the books come out. <laughs> yeah, so uh, let's let's get on to it. Let's get started. So the title of the book is Project Rescue. You'll find out why when you get when I read you guys the blurb. It is also a dual point of view like the rest of the books will be. Uh, let me just get on to the blurb then. Okay. Got my phone ready to read the blurb. Reckless soccer star Sophia Mills celebrates every win with a party. For Sophia, this means finding a win where, whenever she can. Far from the upstanding player she should be, she takes every risk she can to live her own life away from her strict family. When Sophia's university team is invited to a tournament in Japan, the star soccer player can't wait. A free stay at her best friend's massive mansion in Tokyo makes the trip that much more desirable. This trip means true freedom for Sophia, especially when she meets Jiro. She becomes deeply interested in the Japanese auto mechanic his own family has a strict code, but it isn't the kind she's used to. The Takahashis are dangerous with ties to one of the largest gangs in Japan. Sophia is undeterred when she discovers Jiro's secret and brashly uses it to blackmail him into spending time with her as a guide. Sophia's wild days could soon catch up with her and Jiro's ties to his estranged family may not be enough to save her. And that's the blurb! Oh my god! Um... My uh, my friend Myra was like, that's the one she's most excited for because she has like a fat crush on the male lead, Jiro. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Um, but I am excited to write this one just because this one does not take place in London like the other books. It takes place in Japan. So it's going to be fun to write and, and study up on, I guess. Um, story is just gonna be really fun to write because uh she's a different kind of character than the previous three main characters and um uh, that's gonna be great but let's start talking about Sophia so Sophia in the book she's 19 uh she just finished her first year at college uh she's just having a great time uh you know, being a wild college student, I guess. Well, university is what it would be because she goes to university in London. Um, but uh, she's the type to like dye her hair uh, fun colors. Uh, there is a scene in the beginning of the book where she dyes her hair pink. Um, just to kind of spite her mom a little bit. Um, yeah, so she has pink hair in the book. <laughs> but yeah, she's... Um, I don't think I wrote down her personality type and stuff like that. I kind of just want to talk to you guys about her personality and how she is. And yeah, she's a bit on the reckless side, kind of like Amelie. But I would say she's a bit worse because uh, she kind of just does it in the name of fun. Like Amelie kind of was like a little, she kind of just didn't really care about her own well-being. But Sophia is kind of just like, oh, whatever way I can have fun is what matters. Uh, the danger is not that important. But that's Sophia. And then on the male lead character, Jiro, he is an auto mechanic. He uh, fixes cars, things like that. Um, uh, and he, you know, tries his best to stay away from his family because his family are, yeah, they're, um, they have blood money, I guess is what you would call them or something like that. I don't know. Um. But yeah, he just pretty much wants to work at his uncle's auto shop, and that's where he works. Um, and just, you know, make a living fixing cars and doing stuff like that. Uh, he's kind of a layback kind of dude. <laughs> uh, 
he doesn't like partying and stuff like Sophia. He's kind of like the complete opposite of her. And I thought that was a pretty fun idea to have. It's just to make him the complete opposite. Because, you know, opposites attract. And it might just, it's kind of a fun dynamic to write if they really don't get along in the beginning. But, yeah, that's Jira. And, um, ooh, where are my notes? Okay. I... Oh, okay. I do have a couple of fun facts this time. So one fun fact is her best friend, uh, her best friend's name is Jane. She's also her college roommate. Is also related to Jiro. So they have the same um, really rich, really um, crime-based family. Uh, she actually stays with the family um, kind of for the most part. She doesn't, she's not involved with like the gang stuff. But she definitely uses the money and, you know, like, she invites the whole team to the mansion and things like that. Um, another fun fact is that Sophia is the second to youngest sister of Brendan and Amelie. Uh, so she is the second to last book. Um, and, yeah, I, I am the most... Second most excited to write this one. The one I'm most excited to write is book five, which is crazy because, you know, I got to write all the other ones before that. But the ones in the first three I'm most excited to write is book three. So, yeah. But, yeah. Again, this is a really short video. But, uh, yeah. There's not really much to talk about after that. Um... If you guys have any questions about this specific book, you can uh, comment down below. And yeah. Well, guys, thank you for watching this video. If you want to see more like this, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And if you're already subscribed, watch more of my videos. I see you guys. I've been looking at the analytics and I see that more people that do not that are not subscribed to me watch my videos so what are you guys doing watch my videos guys they're they're gonna get good they're gonna get interesting it's gonna be all self-publishing book things it's gonna be exciting anyway <laughs> thanks for watching guys and i'll see you guys in the next one